So, you actually did it. 2,000 likes on episode one. So, as promised, I have returned. And ever since filming that first episode, all I've really done is think about Eastwood. Now, we are going to have to keep that like goal up. So, if we get 2,000 likes on today's episode, I'll put up episode three as soon as possible. I know that these are a little bit long, but try and think of them as a double feature. Something to, to put on relax too, but I like it. I think it's fun. These longer videos are, are genuinely quite refreshing for me, but with that out of the way, let's get into some more Eastwood. Right, so we're back in the land of Eastwood. Now, in the last episode, Sam had recently started school. We'd encountered a couple of bullies. These bullies had been bullying a child named Daniel. We saved Daniel from the stuff under the school, but then it's the next day now. Sam is already headed to school, and we're meant to go meet her because it's an open day, all right? That doesn't really refresh the game that much, but I'm kind of saying it more for me. So, um, so yeah, I really have been thinking about this game a lot. I, I think I'm in love. I found my new Terraria. I haven't really, right? Because this will come to an end. Terraria never does, which is why I like it so much. All right. Uh, ah, so somebody's finally decided to learn some things again. Hmm? Uh, don't you think it's a little late for that, John? Um, all right. Bit rude. Uh, all right, okay. Let's crack on. Let's head to the school then. Let's see what it's about. Okay, how are you feeling today? I heard about what happened yesterday. Uh, you're in a very thin line. I've got my eye on you. <laughs> Come on now, love. All right, it's your school with the monsters underneath. All right, not it's not my caravan, is it? Okay, hello. Uh, what was that principal thinking? Allowing a child like that in school. Whoa, okay. I don't like this. I don't like this segregation here. I don't like this at all. Uh, oh, uh, hello. I'm starving. Wonder what old parts got his lunch today. Gonna get me a bite of that later, that's for sure. <laughs> Great. Oh, hello. Uh, I didn't see Feng on my way to school. I've got a bad feeling about this. He's probably thinking up some awful prank to pull on me. Oh, God. <laughs> all right. I'll say one word. All right. Lunchbox. Maybe that's two. It's kind of one. It's abbreviated. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Is this our teacher? Uh, class is about to start. Are you ready to join us? Hell yeah, I am. Okay. So let's see what's going on then. Are we going to get a cutscene here? We're hiding underground. Above us lies nothing but death. He who enters the forbidden land shall open a path to the world above bringing disaster to Potcrock Isle. Ooh. Miss Real? Miss Real? What is it, Grandis? Grandis is like, that's bull. <laughs> if it's so scary up there, why do people still want to go? That's, well... Because the sky is blue up there. It's the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. Sam, don't. All right, Sam's a believer for anybody who doesn't know. You're lying. You got any proof? <laughs> Grandis, lover. Even though I hate her. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. You're a fantasist too. Ahaha! Uh, -ha! No, I'm not. Uh, it's true. I really have seen it. What did I say, huh? Another lie. Oh god. <laughs> fantasist. Oh god. It's her little squad. I'm not a fantasist. I'm not. Oh, poor Sam. All right, Sam has seen the, the, the world above, apparently. You really need to watch episode one <laughs> to follow along. That's fine. You can wing it. You can wing it. You'll be fine. Okay. Uh, Principal T Tacoma. Sam. Get out. You're to leave this classroom at once. I'm not a fantasist. I'm not. Oh, so it's pink Sam. Uh, it's true. You weren't lying. But, but I show them, prove it to them. Oh, Pink Sam is, I don't know if she's great or she's kind of awful, <laughs> but how can I? Now I trust Pink Sam, the Forbidden Land. Okay. Interesting. I like that, um, that Sam turns blue in these moments because I almost feel like it's, it is symbolism for the sky above, you know? It's like a reflection of her optimism. But I don't know what the pink part is. But maybe it's just to look cool. I don't know. 
Nobody messes with me and gets away with it. Oh, Grandis. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> but I also like your sass, so I don't know. All right. Let's go find Sam. Um, oh, God. All right. It was all Feng's fault. Stealing my lunch during class. <laughs> my mum will be so fat if she finds out I'm in trouble. Yeah, well, you should have just given it to me. <laughs> oh, my God. Sam stormed out, old man. Aren't you going to go find her? Hell yeah, I am. See you later, boys. All right. Ain't no squabbling about a sandwich here. Uh, quick, Sam's headed for the Forbidden Land. Uh, you got to get to the dig site. There's no way I'll make it there fast enough. Oh my god. All right, okay. So for those who don't know, John works at the dig site. And I don't know why I'm explaining episode one. But all right, I'll give a quick recap. So you begin the story with the knowledge that John, somebody who's living in this town underground as a digger, has dug up a daughter called Sam. Sam sees John as like a father figure, but it's not her dad. She believes that there's like a world above, um, and it's about their life here and, and what they get up to. John has a, a frying pan, which he uh, occasionally beats people up with, and it's kind of brilliant. It, it's actually really cool. Um, this game's a little bit zelda or, you know, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I don't want to... Oh, no, I'm going to do it. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm leaving, actually. I was debating going to the bar. But a lot of people say this has got like a Earthbound vibes for them. I, I kind of get a little bit. I kind of get a little bit like that with the the quirky cast and all that. Earthbound is filled with some some quirky people. For those who don't know, I have actually played Earthbound. I get asked about it a lot. All right, let's go find Sam anyway. There's no time to linger. All right, Sam. She's all. She's out there all alone. Hasn't brought a frying pan. She just ran into the Forbidden Land. We should tell uh, John. Why bother? That's Chicky's not coming back. Oh my god. Yon is our arch nemesis. And so long as we keep our mouth shut, no one will even know. Oh. Well, hey, John. Nah, Chuck's not going to do me like that, right? No, nah, I believe in Chuck. John, I mean, John, my man. Uh, Sam ran into a forbidden land. Hell yeah. Sure did. She's going to get killed in there. I was just trying to convince everyone to rescue her. <laughs> Who was that? Who entered the forbidden land? All right, so this is likely the mayor. Uh, not good, the mayor already knows. I find them and there'll be hell to pay. You better go get her, John. Uh, don't worry, I won't tell the mayor. Hell yeah, Chuck, you bloody legend. All right, I'm, I'm assuming it's probably up here. Okay, all right, watch out. The slugs. Yeah, the slugs in this game. Oh, oh hell yeah. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Oh, hell yeah. John's got a, a hitting sound today. I never noticed that in the last episode. Oh, these are the electric ones. Get him, boy. Get him. I just love the frying pan metaphor. I don't know what it is. It's so funny. Um, we, I got a comment um, basically saying that, like, uh, the frying pan was Peach's favorite weapon in Mario RPG. I thought that was interesting because this is a little bit like a Mario RPG game, apparently. Okay. So I'm assuming this is the ascent to the Forbidden Lands. Ooh. I wonder where it goes. I feel like it's almost like a little bit like a, a Stockholm Syndrome down there. I think people are kind of being indoctrinated not to go up and return to civilization. I don't know if it's actually awful up there, presumably so, but not as awful as people think. But I do feel like people are maybe settled in this land so much so that they won't be bothering to, or they don't want life to change, you know. Now that's the vibe I get. It's kind of like uh, the show, I don't know if anybody's seen it, called Solar Opposites. In that, there's a... Oh, it's so good. There's a subgenre in the show. A sub-show about... Um, right, let me smack this across. Oh, there you go. There's a little sub-show about these people living in a... Tiny people living in a wall. It's so good. Anyway. All right, we smacked that across, uh, but we still can't get there, so we're going to walk around. All right. So we can we can sling bombs, which is what I was hoping for in the last episode. Ah, there you go. Right, okay, cool. So we can go this way now. Uh, should I disconnect that, maybe? All right, I don't think I can. I don't want to get electrocuted. <laughs> I want to go find Sam. Makes you wonder, how did Sam even get over here? Hey, thank you very much for the bomb. Okay, let's keep going. I like that. You can see, like, a, a little fridge back there. All right. Uh, let's put down a bomb. Okay, let's find out. 
where she's at. Ooh. Okay. Uh, right, so there's a power cable here. There's also one here. So I'm assuming connect that to that. Uh, so I mean this goes round like that. Connect that. Connect that maybe. Let's turn it on. Okay. So everything is turned on. But you need to disconnect that. There you go. Alright. That's not too hard. Thankfully the, the puzzles have been alright so far. Which is good. I don't want to be <laughs> wasting people's time. Okay. So is this maybe is this is this part like remnants of life before, maybe? Man, I'm deep into this game floor. Maybe I push this? Yeah, there you go. Alright, what's in here? <laughs> the toilet. And more snakes! Hell yeah. Common bathroom attire. Oh, what's this? Pots to break. Uh, let's go this way. Okay. Ooh, I like this. Okay, so I want to see if I can maybe go down first. So there's two layers to this. So I wonder if it'll be a case of, like, solve a puzzle. Um, now I'm going to go back and I'm going to go through those doors first. This is the thing. When it has a game with, like, branching paths and stuff, I'm always, like, so paranoid that I'm going to take the wrong path. Oh, there you go. All right, so there was nothing up here anyway. Okay, good to know. <laughs> now that I've, like, ticked that off in my mind, I'm like, all right, I feel relieved now. All right. Let's go through this door then and see what is this way first. And then when I imagine it's probably nothing, we'll go back. Oh, it's so satisfying smacking the hell out of these snakes. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, here we go. All right, let's continue on. Smack. Whoa. Oh my God, get out of here. Okay, come on, let's go. <laughs> it's so fun. In the combat in this game is just, I don't know, it's addicting. It's just something really funny about it. All right, nothing this way. All right, avoid the snakes. <laughs> just walk around them. Oh, get out the way. I like that they're just like burrowed up from the ground. They look so cool. All right, so let's go down the floor. Yeah, this seems like the right floor because it's decrepit is, is all hell. <laughs> like, so that area is waterlogged. All right, let me smack the hell out of these slimes. So I had a right ordeal these past uh, 24 hours, let me tell you. This is where, like, bashing snakes and all that in this somber moment. Um, so yesterday, I finally got to, to order a new phone. I've had the same phone for um, a good number of years now. I've had the, the same phone for, like, four years. So anyway, I ordered a new phone. Really excited. Got it on pre-order, all right? It's an Apple phone. <laughs> Don't judge me too harshly. Anyway, um... Oh, God, it was such a pain. So, because I ordered this phone, I got, um... Actually, I'm going to push this this way. Let me not get too distracted. All right, there you go. There you go. All right, secret here. Let me get this secret. Okay. Hey, you found some soul. Hell yeah. Do these open? Is there anything inside? No. Okay, anyway. The story's kind of multi-layered. So I ordered my phone, dead excited, got it on pre-order, and then this morning I woke up and, and it was like, hey, your order's been uh, been cancelled because your your payment was declined. And I was like, what what is going on, right? Why is my payment declined? Because obviously I've, I've got the I've got the moolah to buy my phone, or otherwise I, I wouldn't have ordered it. Anyway, my bank locked me out of my card, right? And I knew something was up because last night I went to the shop and I tried to pay a uh, contactless, and it blocked me out again. And, like, I had to, like, put all my shopping back. It was so embarrassing and so annoying. Because uh, I didn't have my actual card on me. But I thought, because I'd already ordered this phone earlier in the day, it was, it would be fine in that maybe that's why I got blocked out because I'd ordered a phone. Anyway, I rang my phone. I rang my bank. And they were like, what you got to do is you got to go, like, to a shop and go buy a sandwich on your bank card and use your PIN number. Use your PIN number. And then, like, it will unlock everything and you'll be fine. And I was just like, oh, my God. <laughs> so I had to nip out before recording this to go, um... To go get, to go get a sandwich that I didn't want to bloody, yeah, to make my thing work. So hopefully it's fine now. Hopefully it's all right. But I'm definitely enjoying the fact that I waited so long for a phone. 
I, I, I'm definitely someone who enjoys technology, and I think it's really easy to get into a trap of always wanting to upgrade your technology. But I found this real peace in keeping technology for years and years, and then enjoying the benefits of like a few generations of upgrades. I don't know. So I'm excited. I get my phone next week if the order goes through all right. I don't know if that has yet. I'll find out. Maybe I'll give you an update. <laughs> nice little story to kill the time. How about that? All right, what is this? A, the key. Awesome. Thank you very much. We got the key. The key for where? For a different room. Now, I can hear the I can hear the secret thing going off. So, I want to see if I can potentially find it. Uh, can you pull or pull this? Push or pull? All right, I can't find it. All right, I'm going to go find uh, where the door is. I think there was a path that we missed earlier on. I'm trying to cruise around. I'm trying to make sure I cover everything right. So we probably came in that way. And we got the the, the, the suit from there. Can I drag this maybe? Nah, no, se no secret that way. All right, I was just being uh, extra cautious. All right, so let's go this way. Uh, right. So I reckon this way. Yeah, I think this is probably it. All right. Yeah, let's go this way. So I imagine this is the way with it. Hey, there you go. There's the door. All right, smack the hell out of these snakes. Bosh, get out of here, son. All right, door's opened. Okay. So, smack this as well. I love, I, I love, love, love the atmosphere in this game. It's so nice. All right, hey, look at that. Hell yeah. You found a heart orb. Collect two more to increase your hearts. So very Zelda-like, and that is honestly why I love this game. I, I just like, I, I don't know. It brings out the Zelda fan of me, and I really do love Zeldas. Okay, right, we can go lower. Man, I tell you what, I always think about these games where I'm like, how did Sam make it to this point? Like, was Sam in there bashing snakes? Like, no way. Okay, so this pushes you to the side, I imagine. This put all right. Okay, let's stick a bomb in the jet stream, like that, and then that should. Oh, there you go. Ah, because that one was sucking them in. Ah, I get it. I thought it was going to be a case of like you send the jet stream down and blow the bomb downwards. Can you go inside once it's broken? No. Okay. Have to be sure. So which way's that going? That way's going in as well. So I'll put a bomb in that one. Awesome, thank you. A lot of things in this game are solved with uh, with bombs. These uh, these little creatures look like uh, caterpies. <laughs> They're awful. Uh, right. So what does that do? All right, that reverses the flow. So try that. Okay, well that's not going in because of the fact that uh, there is a. Um... Okay, let me reverse that flow. Okay, go that way. And then can I go this way? Yeah, okay. So I thought we'd be able to blow it up, but because of the grating, you can't. Okay. Interesting. Ooh, all right. Okay. So we've done that section now. <laughs> now it's getting hype. Come on, get pans. Get pans, boy. Oh, hell yeah. We even got like the dramatic slow mo. I like it. <laughs> Hell yeah, John. Keep killing it, man. Keep killing it. All right, let's go grab Sam. Sam, where are you at? <laughs> She's traveled too far for my liking, all right? I don't trust this situation. Right. Uh. Okay, so we obviously can't get across. I wonder if we blow that up, that'll knock uh, the column over. Yeah, there you go, boy. Hell yeah. God, why am I slightly better at this game than any other game I play on camera? <laughs> Usually when like it comes to stuff like this, I'm so dense. Okay, that's blowing that way. Can I even walk slightly past that? No. Can I make it? No, all right. So I'm assuming that maybe there is a way to flip that later on and then blow that up. And then you can go down the left side. Ah, there you go. All right. Let's put a bomb down. Let's smack that bad boy. Bosh over there. 
Ah, oh, there was another column. <laughs> All right, cool. Thank you. Uh, okay, so flip that. Cheers, mate. Oh, I like this area. So we're starting to, to see some green now. So I reckon Sam's right, all right? There is a world above. I reckon all these people are just uh, sheltered in. <laughs> I'll never get over bashing people with their pan. It's so funny. All right, is there anything back here? No, I don't think there is. All right, there's more, there's more stuff to break. Okay, let's go this way. Man, the visuals, you can tell, are about to, to really get gorgeous. All right, smack you up. I'm going to go up here first and see what's up here. I just want to keep exploring all the branching paths. Uh, let's go this way. Let's go down. I keep thinking I'm going to find uh, secrets around here. Oh, God. Oh, there you go. This is honestly like a, like a little dungeon in itself. This is going on for like um, quite some time. I imagine what I'll do is I'll eventually start to uh, like edit some of these little bits out, some of these longer sections, just so we can cover more in the episode. So if you ever see like a jump cut, it's because a section is just going on for too long. Not like it's bad or anything, but I reckon if I cut a little bit out here and there, we can make the uh, episodes longer. There you go. Oh my god, alright, I, I did it the wrong way. A fridge. Keep your... Keep the current you here with me. Keep the current you here with me. Okay. Then, if you fall in battle, you'll be able to start anew from here. Save your memories. Save. So if I... <laughs> if I read this correctly, the game's creators, English isn't their, like, first language. And I think that shows, but only sometimes in the game. Like, sometimes I have to, like... Really think about the way they phrased it. I imagine you lot probably you'd be having no problem. So I can buy an energy drink, weird color, top rate effectiveness. I can buy an ammo pack or a bomb pack. Now here's the thing. I don't have a gun or anything, so I don't need ammo. So I wonder if we're about to get a gun. I reckon we will. Okay. John. John, look what I found. Green on the bottom and blue on the top. Wow. So I wonder how John's going to react to this. Is he going to be like the father figure and be like, okay, all right, yeah, no, that, that's not what I was expecting. Oh my God. First boss fight. Yes. All right, let's plant some bombs down. Okay, there you go. <laughs> yes. Okay, and then smack the hell out of that mouthpiece. Hell yeah, this is sick. So I was going to say, I wonder if John is going to be like a father figure and be like, nah, get away from there. All right. Oh, I wonder if we're meant to maybe aim some stuff back. Okay. Come on, suck that bomb up. Get it. <laughs> I like this. This is cool. And then mouthpiece again. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I love it. I wonder if they'll do like Mario style. It'll be like three hits for a boss. Okay. I wonder if you can bat the thing back. That's what I want to know. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this ain't good. <laughs> All right. Keep running, John. All right. Put a bomb down there. Bomb down. Bomb. Oh, God. Not enough bombs. Oh, no. All right. Give me more bombs, please. Back you. No. Oh my god. Okay. Right. Now will it vacuum? Okay, that's cannon. Okay, cannon again. Ow. <laughs> vacuum. There you go. There you go. Alright. Smack the hell out of its mouth. There we go. Come on now. Come on. Here we go. Alright, we still got a little bit longer to go. This is alright. Get its mouth, boy. Hell yeah. Well done, Eastwood. I was expecting a boss. Hell yeah, John. I'll fist bump to that one, bad boy. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Max hearts increased. Well done. Okay. So I wonder if the robot was to be continued. Oh, okay. So where's this story going? 
Oh, Sam. Hello. John! Oh, no. John, where'd you go? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> it's just like Ori's mother all over again. <laughs> John, what's wrong, John? John, are you okay? Oh, my God. Don't pull his ear, Sam. <laughs> That's the last thing he wants. Oh, no. John, you better be alive. John. John! Sorry, I'm getting really into character. Uh, is someone there? Help! Ooh. What? Who are you? I'm you, Sam. Please, please help, John. I'm afraid only you can do that. The only way to see the light is to cut through the darkness. Right. Wait! Oh no. So, I, it's almost like she has to take John outside, but how's she gonna do that? <laughs> like, she can't move him. Oh, this ain't good. Uh, hold to charge Sam's energy. Alright. Ooh. Okay. Well, I did. Alright. Oh! Okay. Ooh, okay. I, I'm, by the way, just for anybody at home, I'm, I, I continue to press X. Great, you learned energy bubble. Okay. Uh. Right. <laughs> Again? Ah, that's so cool. All right. Whoa. That is sick. So she only has a little bit of power to, to do it with, so I don't want to blast it out. All right, let's go this way. Okay. Oh, look at it. It's so somber. It's quite, uh, yeah, it's quite different playing as Sam, to be fair. She's an interesting character. She moves a little bit differently. She's a bit slower, actually. Uh, right. Should I electrocute these bubble, these, uh, these onions? Ah, okay. So if you're watching this and you're like, James, this is really dark for me. It's really dark for me as well. It's just like a dark section. All right. Through we go. Yeah, I, I, I can't particularly see either. I'm just uh, assuming it's a certain way. Up here, maybe? Okay. Uh, ooh. I see a shopping trolley. <laughs> I need to maybe turn off the lights for a minute. Or I will in a bit. No, this is fine. I'm, I'm winging it. Oh my god, look at that giant pit of snakes! Okay. Ah, it goes through, um... goes through walls. There you go. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, get one. Get two. Alright, stop. <laughs> Leave me be. Do not, do not hurt the precious Sam. <laughs> okay. Right, so that's the way out then. Hey, she's slow now. Oh, she's fast now. There you go. All right. That's better, that. <laughs> I was just thinking, man, she's sluggish. I don't want to play as her if she's, like, really slow. It's one of my least favorite things in the game is slow-moving characters. It's like a pet peeve, almost. Oh! The train track. So, do you remember in the opening cutscene, there was a train? Okay. Another dead end. Looks like it's up to me to get her done again. Ooh. You're going to blow this thing up again, aren't you? You sure that's a good idea in here? Not to worry. I'll make sure to use just the right amount of blast power. You find a safe place to hide. Fine. I guess I can give you another chance. Okay. Five. Four. Three. <laughs> Oh, amazing, amazing. <laughs> Looks like there was a slight miscalculation in the timer. Like always, you mean. Wow, is he? This is incredible, the discovery of the century. Where are we? A city? Oh my god, so they've just blown their way into Pot Creek. Ah, okay. Interesting, interesting indeed. 
Sam, be careful over there, all right? There's a maniac robot with explosives. <laughs> just, 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 be, just be a little bit cautious, all right? Oh, hell yeah. Save me a... Bo oh, it's Chuck. Look, little Sammy. Hey. And it's also Digger. Huh? Where did... Where did you just pop out of her? This can't be good. John. John is uh, still down there. Ah. So that's how we... Uh, that's how we made it through. Okay. I did think Sam was, was magical. Like in the opening cutscene, it hints at it. Hey, he's alive. All right. Just some scratches. They'll heal soon. The bigger problem is they went to the Forbidden Land. If the mayor finds out, John, I, uh, what can I do to help? Let's see. Some gel should do the trick. <laughs> gel, got it. All right, where's the slimes at? Though there is a problem. The only one that might have something like that is the quack of a doctor at the bar. You mean Bog Uta? Got it, I'll ask him. All right, so we get to play Sam now. That's really cool. All right, let's go ask the uh, the bartender uh, what's going on. I probably should stop. I want to stop and ask people just to chat. I like, I like reading all the dialogue. Hmm. I knew it from the start. You bring John nothing but trouble. Ah, all right. Uh, John, is he all right? Got me worried sick. Aww. So, John's gone and gotten himself hurt, has he? Probably had it coming. Oh, get out of here, love. <laughs> Bob off. Sam's a maid, right? She's going to smash your head in, right? We're off to the bar anyway. I didn't know if they meant, uh, like, the milk bar, but this should be the bar. Okay, hello. Uh, what you doing here, sweetie? Uh, Boguta already flew the coop, left to find John. Uh, don't tell me you didn't see him, damn fool. Must have gotten lost again. Go check the dig site. Who knows, he probably wandered around down there somewhere. Okay. Uh, what are you still doing here, Sam? John's hurt? Well, don't blame yourself too much, you know. All of us down here, we've all got things we've got to do. Okay. Fair play. Alright, so it's uh, back to the dig site. Now, I'm assuming we're probably going to wander into, uh, into the person that blew the hole in the train track. Uh... Ho oh, ho, if it isn't little Sammy. You don't think John's gonna kick the bucket, do you? <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you, Jan? <laughs> yeah, I see how it is. All right, let's go into the dig site then. Let's see what we find. So I don't know if we're meant to go up to the Forbidden Land or down. What? You guys went to the Forbidden Land and John's gone himself injured? Oh no. Uh, don't worry a thing about that mayor. Uh, your secret's safe with me. All right. Okay. Thank you. I think his name's Cage. I think I called him Chuck earlier. Did I call him Chuck? Might have done. All right. Let's uh, let's go have a look around the dig site anyway. Let's see what's about. Okay. Can we go this way? Hey, we can. Right. So this was the area we came at the start of the game. Uh, but now I'm looking at it. I'm assuming that maybe we probably don't come through this way. I tell you what. I'll have a little look down here. And then, yeah, I think there's nothing about. I think this is like a like a, a done part of the game. All right, let's go up. Yeah, I didn't know if it was like a like backtracking. Do you know what I mean? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, stairs, man. I ain't good at them. So I like that <laughs> John's got his pan, and Sam's a literal mage. It's kind of cool. All right, what's this? All right, look at that. You can like fire it off. Bam! It's because she's not like tough enough to swing a pan, you know? She ain't got bombs. So I wonder how her energy works then. I wonder if it's like uh, slowly recharges over time or like you pick up little like mana crystals or whatever. Oh, it does charge up over time. You can see it there in the bottom. Ah, oh, all right. Okay, this is the Sam section for sure. Because Sam don't like onions, all right? It's, it's canonical. Yeah, let's go this way. Uh, I can hear something. Hey, there we go. Found three tokens. Okay. So I think we're on to the, the right path here. Ah, so Sam's big thing is lighting the darkness. I get it. Ah, okay. Oh! 
Oh, so if we <laughs> if we'd have hit the mushrooms, we'd have. <laughs> okay, I get it. So I walked through the last area. It's completely in the dark. Okay. Ooh. So Sam is more like uh, defensive than offensive to enemies. She puts him in a stumble ball. Hey, here we go. He's like, I've got the perfect cure, a hot dog. Well, looky here. If it isn't John's little girl. Uh, I was just on my way to come find you two. Though I seem to have gotten myself a bit uh, lost. Huh? Gel? Sure thing. Uh, here you go. Hey! Big up, Sam. You did it. Obtained gel. Oh, right. Also, uh, whatever you do, don't say the words uh, Orbidden Fay and Lay in front of the mayor. <laughs> okay, all right. Thank you. <laughs> it's just like that he just ends up lost. I hope he, I hope he pops up some more. I kind of like him. He's a bit of a legend. If somebody said in the, the last episode, taking a hot dog off a stranger, probably ain't the best idea, all right? I agree. <laughs> but I live I live wild, uh, life on the wild side. Oh, for anybody that missed the toilet animation in episode one. Oh, no, I can't do it now. Never mind. You'll forever have missed it. Gonna have to buy the game, all right? That's reason enough. <laughs> I want to see the toilet animation. It just went like this. That's that's mainly what it did. This flip flopped up and down. All right, you ain't missing out. All right, let's go back to John. Ugh, let's get him his gel. It's not even late in the day. I'm just tired. <laughs> I got. I've only. I ain't been up too long. I keep hearing a treasure around here, and I'm like, I've got to go find it at some point. All right. Oh man, the chair is so uncomfortable. Okay, right. Let's go inside. Let's go help him. Hello, John. I got the gel. Uh, perfect. So is John going to be fighting fit? Then we've done all we can do. Is is John going to be okay? That will uh, depend on John himself. Oh, John. Oh, no. That boss fight was sick, though. I really enjoyed that. That was good fun. So is this the middle of the night, then? Hey, John. Bless him. John, uh, are you up yet, huh? Look what I found. Come on, John, hurry up. This seems to me like a dream. I'm going to assume this is a dream. Okay. I can hear birds. <laughs> I know I'm probably covering it, but if I can remember to uh, to take my face cam out, I don't know if I will. Maybe you're looking at me right now, or maybe you're looking at a toilet. Here's the toilet. I know I'm not going to remember to edit that out. These videos are too long. <laughs> I don't watch them back that thoroughly, to be honest. Okay. Whoa. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a dream, isn't it? Oh, my God. Why is John not appearing in the, the puddle of reflection? <laughs> John is dead, <laughs> unfortunately. Wow. Oh, if only. I tell you what. If you did live under, if you did live underground, you know, if this scenario was real, God, the the world above must seem like the most beautiful thing there is, because nature's gorgeous. All right, you don't need me to say it, but it is. It truly is gorgeous. Like I feel like I want to open a window <laughs> right now, but I actually don't because I'm a cave dweller. Wow. The logo appears eastward. It's like an Assassin's Creed intro. Oh, this is nice. I like this. <sighs> the music in this game is great. It's really good. <laughs> no way! Oh, I was joking. 
I was actually joking. <laughs> wow. But I do like it when games do this. It's just a bit of a cliche. I just didn't expect this game to actually do it. Wow. That makes me happy. That, that was actually really beautiful. I'm, I'm glad the game did that. Oh, It's one of those things that when you think back on the game, they're the moments you remember. As weird as that is. How many? I've played like nearly three hours of this game. I'm surprised that that was the intro. This might be a, this might be a very long game. Uh, you have to get better, John. Once you're better, we'll, we'll go to school together and play Earthborn together. And then, and then, John, we'll go to the surface. Just you and me. Oh, keep watch, will you? I think the mayor... Yeah, there you go, yeah. John! Oh, my! If it isn't the little waif himself. Herself, sorry. No need to worry, my dear. I'm only here for John. Okay. You don't look so bad. And here I thought you'd gotten yourself seriously injured. <laughs> you know, I've always liked you, John. No, really. You're... How should I put it? A workhorse. <laughs> what an insult. But... You just have to go there, didn't you? It leads to the surface, you know. Ooh. Oh, my. Aren't you a chatty Cathy? <laughs> Do you have any idea, girl? Just what kind of position this puts me in? <laughs> You've made the mayor look very bad. And when the mayor looks bad, this makes him very angry. How to right this wrong, then? Hmm? We didn't do anything wrong. In fact, John got rid of all the monsters in there. Oh, did he? Impressive, John. Very impressive. You know, that actually reminds me of something. Yes, I know. The perfect place for the two of you. Guards? Oh, no. We're going to Sharon or Karen or whatever. Or Sharon or I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't pronounce it in the last episode. Still can't. I think it's Sharon. Oh, so this is what Sharon is then. Get in there. Alright, John's alive. You too. Oh. What's with the, the picture of Satan in the background? It's got a toilet and a picture of the devil. Alright. Anybody else's bathroom out there look like that? Come on. Fess up. Oh no. Uh, damn man, man. You hear yourself back there? Art, I tell you. Ah, you've made the mayor look very bad. And when the mayor looks bad, this makes him very angry. Yon, you piece of sh... Nothing can rattle the bones like our mayor Hoffman. Uh, I can't even look uh, half as scary, even on my worst days. That old John probably, uh... <laughs> peed clean through his skivvies. Enough. It's almost time for the banishment. Go and prepare. Yes, sir. I'll get out of your hair then. Ah, uh, wait. You need something else? I want to rehearse a bit. Okay. Rehearse, sir? Yes, rehearse. Oh, God. <laughs> what is about to happen here? Oh, spare me, please, Mr. Mayor, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Abandon all hope of ear coming back. Uh, for I have come to take you to the world above. Ooh. All that awaits you now is darkness, hellfire, and the blistering cold. No longer will your feet tread on Sanctuary's land. Nay, beneath your steps shall lie naught but poison and the malevolent grip. <laughs> of an endless, unceasing miasma. Okay, all right. How was it? <laughs> it it was marvelous, <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> God damn! My legs are still rattling. Me too. Me too. 
Uh, yes, a bit of practice can be effective now and then. <laughs> I love it. I love it. This game's so charming. Nothing but charm, this game. All right, you two. How are we getting out? <sighs> to be fair, though, Sam would rather go to the surface. All right, she's just got a memory card, though. That's the only thing. Inspect. Stop right there. Oh, is this thing his dad, maybe? Uh, don't touch my baby. <laughs> huh? Who are you? Don't be too surprised. It's me, Jasper, the one-man show. Hell yeah, Jasper. In the flesh. I like it. Shocked? One-man show her? What's that? <laughs> no, don't tell me. The people have already forgotten me. <laughs> He's like, I'm irrelevant. I can't deal with this. Um, anyway. You called this your baby? Doesn't look like a baby to me. Golden eyes like spotlights illuminating the crime in the darkness. So it's maybe a movie poster? Uh, fresh blood, a livid testament to the battle that had transpired. None other than Earthborn, the Night Stalker. Earthborn? This is Earthborn 2? No way. That's so cool. So obviously, for those who don't know, this whole Earthborn thing is, I think personally, like a, a slight reference to Earthbound. I say slight, it's clearly a big reference to Earthbound, uh, which I do think is a big inspiration for this game. I've played a little bit of Earthbound, I've never finished it, but it is great. It's for uh, the Super Nintendo, and if you ever get the chance, go and listen to the song Onet, so spell uh, O-N-E-T-T, -T. so Onet Earthbound. Listen to the song, it's so good, alright? You like Earthborn 2? It's my favourite. Higher, I can't see. That's uh, as high as I can go. Uh, what do you weigh, a thousand pounds? What did you say? Huh? Karota? That's Karota's voice. Oh, Sam. She's in there. <laughs> I love it, a mate showed up. Uh, they didn't catch you guys too, did they? Sam's in there. Youch, that's my head. Sorry. Hurrying up already. Sam, big guy said he wanted to give you something. It's a, a lucky coin. It belonged to my dad. Maybe it'll come in handy. <laughs> How am I supposed to get it in? Uh, crap. It's Captain Tiger. Run for it. You idiot. Let me do it. You're going to slide it under the door. Ooh. <gasps> there was a hole behind the poster. It's like Shawshank Redemption. Spoilers. Night Stalker. <gasps> no way. Ooh, okay. Sorry about that, Jasper. John. Look, John, look. There's a hole. That was cool. So it is a special coin. It glows. <laughs> You obtained the lucky coin. Whoa. Ah, okay. So there's a whole mine under here. John, look, John. Look. I feel like John just kind of goes along with the, the whole story. I think that's his thing. Wait for me. <laughs> John is so much like a Tingle from Zelda. Uh, where is this place, Jasper? Here. I can't say I know either, but every night I would hear the strangest of hissing noises coming from here. It would get so loud I would have to use my Night Stalker to block it out. Oh, Oh. Night Stalker. <laughs> John, let's go explore. You never know. It may lead outside. Alright. So clearly there's going to be a lot of snakes around here. I wonder, can I swap? Oh. Grab that. I wonder if I can swap between the two characters eventually. I think that's what's gonna. I think that's what's gonna happen. All right. I don't need any food. All right. I'm all right. Uh, I will save the game. Those secrets 
uh, you keep ought to thank you. Secrets are only secrets because you know them. Save your memories. Save. Right, so uh, I think for today we are going to wrap it up there. So we have a prison escape that we need to do. Now I want to know, if you made it to this point in the game, comment Earthborn, all right? And then I know that you made it to this point in the video. Right, so like before, we need 2,000 likes. And if we get 2,000 likes, I'll put up an episode free as soon as possible. Right, have a great day, everyone. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.